Hey guys, Private Jack here. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about uh, installing Blender Source Tools to Blender 2.8 or 2.90. I'm using 2.91 uh, in my demonstration simply due to the fact that I'm trying to keep ahead of the bubble. The process hasn't changed since Blender 2.50. Basically, all it is is a matter of downloading a zip file, clicking on an install button, and installing the add-on. So, for Blender Source Tools, all we have to do is make sure we've got a current version of Blender that's working. Then we open up a file browser or a web browser. Do a search for Blender Source Tools. And right here, Blender, uh, Blender Source Tools, the Steam Review. This is Art Funkel's delivery system for Blender Source Tools. Click on that link. And the version that's here in this green button is the current stable version for the most current version of Blender. Okay, so this one will work in Blender 2.80 and up. Okay, so like I say, I'm using Blender 2.91. This version actually works in Blender 2.91. If you require something that is different, uh, let's say you're using Blender 2.79, what you have to do is you have to go into the re release archives and find the stable version for the version of Blender that you're using. So if you're using Blender 2.74 up to 2.79, the last current stable was 2.10.2, and that's the version that you have to use with that range of Blender. Okay? Let's go back to the main page now. So basically I'm using Blender 2.9. You're using Blender 2.83 maybe. Uh, all we have to do is click on this green button to download it. My downloads go to my desktop. So I've got it downloading. As soon as the download is finished, what I do is I usually go back to where I've downloaded it. And with anything that I download from the net, I'll right click on it and run it through a virus scan just to be sure. Here we go, no threats, everything should be safe. Close that. Now I open up Blender. Simply go to the Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and to install, all I have to do is click on this Install button, and then point this, web br or this file browser to where I have that zip file. Here it is right here. I'm going to select that zip file and click Install Add-on. As soon as the add-on installs, what's going to happen is the screen is going to change and it's going to display the most current add-on that was added. Okay, Add-ons install in disabled mode. To enable it, what I have to do, uh, to, I have to enable it in order to be able to use it. So what I have to do is click on this little checkbox and this, anything that's checked means that it's enabled. And because I have auto preferences turned on, as soon as I close this, it'll save my preferences. Now, to find source tools, source tools is located here in the scenes property panel. And right here, come on, right here, this is Blender source tools. All this right here. Okay, also to verify, I can go to File, Import, and I will find that I have the ability now to import SMD, VTAs, DMX, and QC files. And if I look at the exports, I have the ability to export SMD, VTA, and DMX files. So Blender Source Tools is installed. And that's all there is to it. Oh, I don't want to save that. It's just a... There we go. And... Basically, I'm set to go. Blender Source Tools is installed. I can now scroll this away to some place on my computer or just junk it. I don't need it anymore. So that's the process. Any questions, comments below. I'll get back to you when I can. With that, Private Jack out.